Hi, I'm Shania. And I'm Janice. And we're here with Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory at Piermont. And today we are going to debunk the myth, is, is the, the Hudson, Hudson River, River dirty? dirty? Okay, so a lot of people I know uh, think that the Hudson is super dirty and contaminated. It's like this toxic wasteland. And I think it's because uh, the Hudson does look pretty brownish and maybe a little green. And historically, it was polluted. that go into the mixing of the sediments into the water or the tides so like just as the um, just as the water moves around it kind of stirs up the sediments um, in the Hudson and salinity also plays a factor so um, the Hudson right here it's basically brackish water but the upper Hudson is more like fresh water and then the lower Hudson it gets uh, gradually saltier so in the estuary, you're having uh, the salt water and uh, fresh water sort of mixing, and um, salt water is more dense than fresh water, so it kind of um, just sort of like sinks to the bottom more, and it, that kind of helps stir up the sediments as well. And weather also plays a factor, so like wind and things like that. And um, lastly, just ways to measure turbidity include a secchi disk, which we're about to show you how to use, and a thing called a turbidity tube. Okay, so this right here is a secchi disc, and you can tell by its like contrasting white and black colors. And I'm gonna show you how it works, and Janice is gonna explain the process. Right, so right now Shania is lowering the secchi disc into the water, and we're gonna drop it until we no longer see the Seki disc. So we're still going, we could still see it. That's why the contrasting colors are so important. Ooh. And I don't I think we don't see, see it anymore. Oh, actually I do. Oh yeah, maybe we can go a little yeah. lower. Um, okay, I, yeah. And so Shania's gonna mark. Uh, yeah, she's gonna mark where the rope ends and we're gonna pull it up. It's always good to have two people doing this because eyes are, you know, it's good to have a whole set of eyes yeah, to make sure it's little, accurate. The measurements could be a little subjective, so yeah. it's good to have another person. So next, we're going to take this piece of rope and measure. measure. So here we are measuring the length of our rope. Here, it's a, you can see it's a little bit less than three meters. So we would say two point eight meters um however we're not done yet because there's a little bit of space from the dock to the surface of the water we're gonna have to do that measurement and then subtract okay so we're gonna drop the second disc again and we're gonna stop it when it reaches right to the surface of the water Back up. 
Okay, so I would say this is about 2.08 meters. So we subtracted the measurement that we just took, which was the surface to the dock, by our initial measurement. Uh, so that's 2.8 meters minus 2.08 meters, which gives us uh, about 72 centimeters. So is, is the Hudson, Hudson River, River dirty? dirty?